what do we do with a computational cluster? I think cluster? we have the demos. Yeah. Yeah. So Simo, I think yours was first, right? Yeah, I can give a demo, a quick demo. OK. Mm, your screen is there. So yeah. what's the story of this demo? The schedule says large scale computing with array jobs. So array job yeah. is a way to run one thing many times with slightly different parameters, correct? <clears throat> yes, yeah, so, so this specific case is a, um, is a situation where one of our researchers wanted to do, uh, utilize an already existing model that used uh, like this kind of a transformer deep learning networks to do uh, analysis of music and sounds basically like it could recognize features from different uh, different sound sources so different like ambient sounds it could like uh, extract features from these uh, different sources and different musics and music styles and stuff like that and there were different models uh, in this in this specific model that one could use like different kinds of uh, feature extraction methods and so so basically we have a situation where uh, we want to do this kind of analysis for different kinds of genres, different kinds of things. We want to do this feature extraction, and we help the user to uh, to like use the software uh, by by utilizing these singularity containers that we unfortunately don't have time in this course to to go through too much. But basically, we we help them install the software and then help them like do the analysis. Uh, in in a parallel fashion with these array jobs, so basically, uh, running a different uh, uh, running different parameters in different machines because all of these jobs required like a very heavy uh, GPU uh, for about a half an hour to do it. So I'll demo the the script now. I'll show the script. So uh, so in in the folder here, there's like a, there's the actual data that needs to be done. And then there's the script that uh, will be used to um, analyze the data. So if I use the less command, which is like this kind of a, uh, you can view a file uh, with this kind of a, you can scroll around the file. If I used it to view the file. So this is the, the script file that runs. Yes. This is the script so, that actually does the work. Yeah, oh. we will learn how to, write these scripts uh, during the few coming days. So how do you can like tell the system to do whatever you want it to do? Mm -hmm. And in this case, we wanted it to run uh, on GPUs okay. uh, with quite a lot of memory requirements and, and stuff like that for, yeah. for certain time. And we wanted it to use this array structure where it runs multiple of these jobs at the same time in different machines, probably. Okay. And and then for each uh, each uh, uh, like each job would get its own value of a genre that it would then okay. analyze, and then then it, so it would run multiple different parameters at the same time on okay. different uh, jobs, and then it would do the analysis. So, so basically, when I yeah yeah. So this is for you submitting. 10 different jobs to do 10 different things using that little piece there. So yes. you program So basically now I'm hiring more Italians. Like if we remember the analog previously, mm. where each each of these jobs uh, could be a different like Italian. So now I'm basically like instead of putting one person uh, to boil the pasta, I, I invite 10 people to boil their own pastas at the same time so then i get 10 times the stuff done in in the same time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so so okay these kinds of uh, jobs we will learn about more how to use them but when they are submitted to the queue system uh, you you will get this kind of a submitted okay. uh, job and if we look around we'll notice that all of these are running at the same time on different GPU <laughs> machines. So some of them are running on, on certain machines. Maybe I'll reduce the yeah, font a bit. So... But they are all running at the same time. So now there are 10 analysis being done at the same time uh, for 10 different GPUs. So all of these different genres that we would have 
uh, are being analyzed at the same time. And this, this analysis is, well, it's short in time, but it's so it requires a heavy GPU, so you wouldn't be able to run this on your own machine like ever because it requires too powerful of a GPU. So, so this kind of job uh, utilizes both the GPUs, but also the array structure so that you can have multiple of these running at the same time. And then we get like the output and, and we can see uh, what we get. So this, this is uh, this kind of stuff you will learn on the next day. Uh, so this was a real world case where was somebody uh, needs to do something multiple times and they would utilize the queue to, to do it faster. Yeah. And then how do these, like, do these all save to the same output file or do they, like, how do you get the results from 10 different things running at once? Yeah, so so uh, we'll talk about this more when we go to the array job chapter, but all of them will produce their own output and all of them will produce their own uh, features, uh, their own results in in their own files. So they're completely independent things running at the same time. But this is uh, we'll we'll go to the, through this in uh, much more detail tomorrow. Okay. Can we look so, at the other example? Yeah. So okay. So, and I guess we can emphasize that what you just saw here that Simo did. This is the most common way for people to run a lot of things on Triton. I don't know if I'd say most common. What do you say most common? Well, I would say it's the like it it's uh, it can get it might be a bit confusing at first but then if you think about like okay i am i going to be running this thing like a hundred times or ten times or am i going to be doing this again and again mm -hmm. then if you're if you think about like that most likely this is the easiest way you can like do stuff at the same time <laughs> you by utilizing these array jobs so I would it it's a lot of our jobs are these array jobs, but I would say that even more could be. So so mm -hmm. this is something you should keep in mind um, when yeah. when we talk about this in in detail. Yeah. Okay. I see some commentary on HackMD, but I'll do the next example and then we can get mm. back to the 